innovation that excites. Georgia will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, Second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. First and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he shoved out of bounds at the 49. A seven-yard pickup on the screenplay. They're about four yards away here on second down. Flushed out, and he's going to get sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. I know that these such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. From the 42-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tackle at the 34. Fourth down, they call on the kicker for a long field goal. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. First down, Graham. They'll bring him down right around the four. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Once it all, going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. A little toss across the middle. They'll get him for a loss. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Makes it out to about the 40. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He dives and he'll be marked down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires it out, and he's tackled around the 31-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. He goes out of bounds at the 31. Stephens there and gives it back to their offense. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Alabama has a three-point lead. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 44. They'll go with a run once again. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Oh. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Jackson, back to return it. Signals for a fair catch. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 11 yard line. It's second down. Mike 
And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down right around the 14-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. They line up at the 14. It's third down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Bolden is back to receive. And this one is a beauty. Bolden fields it at the 38. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. You gotta wonder right now which offense is gonna open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Right side. He fights forward to about the 49. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. Alabama is up by three. They'll drop him for a loss. it out he almost had it but it's incomplete they're stacking the line it looks like they're coming after this punt it's away and it's a booming punt this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback Alabama's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. He throws left. Nice catch. First down. He's knocked out. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. Fires a bullet out to the right. He can't hang on. Incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. Bolden is back awaiting the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Alabama is up a field goal. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 29-yard line.
It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down around the 36 yard line. We played one quarter. The Crimson Tide in front, 3 0. to the action now here in the second quarter. Nice run and he's brought down. So it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He tries to buy some time. He's at midfield. He's brought down in the open field. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From the 47 yard line, second down, Alabama holds a field goal lead. Again with a carry, and they hit him in the backfield. carrier here was just careless in handling the ball and a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. And they make the stop at the 44. From the 44-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. to the 33 yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 33. Quick pass tight end and he wasn't ready for it. The pass was right on target. So that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He's on the run. Inside the 10. He's taken down at the 5.
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here's a running play. Tackle at about the three-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And down he goes, right around the two-yard line. Big down here. It's third and goal from the two, and they can take the lead. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Georgia can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick throw. He's not the eight-yard line. Second 28. Up of a yard. Hellback. The soft area right there. That's a very good tackle. And he's immediately tackled. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Makes the grass the marker. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. Fights forward to about the 39. That makes it second, and eight. second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 39. And they get nice yardage on that run. out to his receiver. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Big play, and it's first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throw caught touchdown. And did 
that play ever developed nicely. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10 play, 74 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 10-3. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. All on the 21. White takes the give. Makes it to the 31. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. run to the left there. The Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half. About two minutes before halftime. He's pushed out of bounds around the 40-yard line. Gets hit out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Caught, and he's taken down at the 25 yard line. From the 25 yard line, first down. Quick toss. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets it out quickly. He's tackled at about the 15 yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And he's tackled around the eight yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. They come out in an empty backfield. They run it left. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he is drilled at the two-yard line.
He's going to try and scramble. He lost the ball. And they fall on the loose ball. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bug. They need to hold on to the football. Huge play. Let's see if they can capitalize now. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama is up a score. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. Brought down right around the 26-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Alabama leads it 10-3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw, both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting, and you gotta find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Hands it off. Nice run there as they work the outside. to throw outside and it's intercepted and he tackles him hard at the 47 yard line I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball he's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner first down 10 yards to go ball in their own 47 Alabama is up seven. Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 47.
They're about four yards away here on second down. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Gets to about the 27 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. Offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Alabama up seven points. He's tackled in the open field. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. A little misdirection. And they make the stop at the four-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown time. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy looks very impressive. When he has the ball in his hands, good things always seem to happen. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, it's just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith into your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Darts it to the left. 
and he couldn't hang on to it. Incomplete. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to midfield. Alabama's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They found their rhythm, and as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's in trouble. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 44-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh, and he can't hold on. down immediately after the catch. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 31. Tackle at the 28. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. not be able to get the pass off. And they get the sack. Wow, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The kick is up, and it's good! Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He steps out around the 28-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 28. Throws out and through his hands. The halfback with a carry. And he's level at the 30-yard line. Holden is back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Pretty good job by the return man there. 
We're about set to start things up again. They try running left. He fights forward to about the 33. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Ready, green and eight. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Jackson back deep to return. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second down and five. Ball on the 47. Little screen pass, and he's taken down at the 48. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he has it on the corner. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. He goes downtown, and it's caught. They'll bring him down at about the seven-yard line. Good-looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Comes away with about two yards and a little draw play. That brings in second and goal. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. There's a strike complete. Brought down right around the 30.
Second and five. Ball on the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 2010, Alabama. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. A lot of emotion over there with the coaching staff on the sideline. The defense did their job, and they've got a lot of confidence that their offense can come back and take the lead. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. Jackson takes it at the 23, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. Makes it out to about the 46. From their own 46-yard line, first down. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's tackled around the 43-yard line. This is just a nice play by the defense. They're not fooled at all in this draw play. to get it inside the 44. He's hit and taken down. from the 33-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. Quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work. Dives forward. Almost had it, but it's incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Got the corner. Good outside run there. Here's the eighth play of the series. At the 17-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 17-yard line. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Hits him hard at the 29-yard line. Fourth and long here after the sack. 
And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 2013, Alabama, Georgia, to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Alabama is up a score. He's out of bounds around the 29-yard line. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Wide receiver screenplay. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. They go with the run. Tackle made at the 41. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 41. Makes it out to about the 50. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 44. The offense here picks up a first down by running the football, and I really think that they gave the quarterback there an option at the line of scrimmage to run or to pass, depending on what he saw from the defense. The defense that time looked to be out of position. I think they were anticipating a pass. Quarterback recognized that, made the check at the line, and they were able to run the football for a first down. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Alabama is up by a touchdown. Gets out to around the 25. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He guns it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. First and 10, ball on the 11-yard line. Gets to about the 8-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Quick throw, almost intercepted. So we're looking at another third down here. He fights forward to about the seven.
He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Less than three minutes in the game. And he is drilled at the 19. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Mike eight. Mike eight. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 33. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Wants to throw outside. Five wide. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. And he's level at the six. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. This is the ninth play of this drive. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. And he's taken down at the 45. What a great effort here. Not just by the return team to cover the onside kick, but also by the kicking team to get themselves in that position in the first place. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He fights forward to about the 43. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 43. Under a minute left in the game. And 
and he's taken down at the 40. So they get about three on the draw. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Again with a carry. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Trying to change the field position with his kick. Alabama's has come storming back in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and they're not done yet. There's still time there. They're thinking about maybe winning this game. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own nine. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He's tackled right around the 12-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Under heavy pressure. Quick toss. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one, 23-20, Alabama. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.